Hey guys, what's up? Kevin here, bringing you a new video um, where I'm going to be analyzing um, a certain film in comparison to another film, um, Baby Driver with Drive. Now, both of these movies are similar in many ways, which I'm also going to go over, um, as well as um, how they're different. Um, so, first let's talk about uh, what makes both these movies great. They're both movies about um, getaway drivers, more or less, who are making a living off of doing that, just that, being getaway drivers um, for different heists and criminals, um, and they're both pretty reserved people, and um, they both have pretty um, big soundtracks to back them up in different ways, which I'm also going to go over, but, um, and, and it's also very, it's kind of a love-driven story in, in both of them. Um, where the love interest is kind of um, driving um, what the character is wanting to do, where in Baby Driver, um, Baby is, is doing what he does and happens to meet this girl. Um, in Drive, um, this guy is doing what he does to try to support this girl um, that he already kind of knew throughout the movie. So I guess they're different in that way. So, like... I guess the best way to describe it is that Baby Driver is a movie about a getaway driver who's making a living off of doing just that, and he happens to find a girl that he really likes, and, um, you know, they try to work things out, and he gets into some trouble um, between her and the other people that he works with, and Drive is more about a guy who happens to be a getaway driver trying to support, you know, his his current state of living um, by, by being a getaway driver, I guess. So it's kind of like very similar, but like two different sides of the spectrum, I guess, in a lot of ways, being that um, in Baby Driver, um, it, it kind of paints the idea of being a getaway driver as something like exciting I guess um with like the fun music because like in this one the soundtrack is definitely a lot more like um f like exciting and just like action-packed adrenaline rush soundtrack like to make it seem like you know this is something that's baby really enjoys because it's so intense whereas like the soundtrack in drive is really like almost like tragic like it makes it seem like you know this is what this guy's life has kind of came to and he's had had to become a getaway driver to get by on life and and it, and it seems like that's sad that, that he has to do that because he's basically helping criminals to get by and get away with different things by by being a getaway driver essentially and and that and that um is interesting um for those two different perspectives um and i think i think um a lot of them both of them are great uh stories um as far as whether as far as if if both of the movies are good um i would say uh baby driver is probably a little better just because the action and plot is more um more exciting but um drive is a lot more of like an emotional movie i guess is the best way to put it not to say that that baby driver isn't emotional but it's drive is a lot more like um like heavy i guess as far as like w what it's getting behind with what's going on with ryan gosling's character um, in his life, um, with this girl he likes and this kid that she has, um, whereas, whereas Baby Driver, it's, it's more oriented around, around the driving, whereas I, I feel like in Drive, it, it's more oriented around, like, the character's story, um, but, th but they're both very similar films, and they both have a great cast, and, Ryan Gosling does great in his performance. I think he's a lot more like cold compared to Ansel Elcourt, whereas 
Elcourt is more of like a like a pacifist almost, whereas in this, Ryan Gosling is is definitely more ruthless and will do anything it takes to sort of be able to survive in the world, um, and, and be able to make it. Um, whereas An- Ansel Elcourt is more of the type where I, he's just like, I'm just gonna try to do what I do and not get in trouble for it and just get by on whatever. Whereas Ryan Gosling's like, I mean, if, if that guy could potentially ruin me, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> so like, that's the way it is for me. So that's like, that's like also like another like polar opposite of the movies. But like, and also like, um, Baby Driver is, is a lot more structured to be like, um, uh, Baby is working for like a real like organization. I feel like with Kevin Spacey's character and the people he works with, whereas like Ryan Gosling and Drive, it's more just like, oh, like can you help this criminal out? Can you help that criminal out? Like, it's it's more like he's more like independent in this. He does like kind of work for a boss. Um, Brian Cranston's character, who is really good as well. Um, he's kind of like his boss, I guess, who helps him, like, plan out, like, what he wants to do, but he's not really, like, a boss character like Kevin Spacey was, because Kevin Spacey's character was a lot more of, like, a, like, like, authority over him, whereas Brian Cranston's character was more of, like, just, like, a handler, someone who helped out, uh, make sure he had the right car, that, that kind of thing, and, yeah, that's basically it. Um, the stories of the different criminals also um, are slightly different. Um, with um, They're a little varied with um, how each of the main characters gets involved with criminals, and that basically causes them both to get in like a mess of stuff that they have to try to get out of. And they're very similar in that sense that that, you know, they start out being getaway driver and they get into this whole mess trying to help these criminals and that that puts their life in jeopardy. Very similar in that way if you spin it like that. But, um, yeah, either way, um, they are similar in a lot of ways, but they're they're also still, still definitely different films and good films in their own rights. Um, each of them had a good, good cast. One had Kevin Spacey, Jamie Foxx, Ansel Elcourt, uh, John Hamm, all great, great uh, people of the star. And then Drive had Ryan Gosling, Brian Cranston, um, Oscar Isaac, who in 2011, like, that's a pretty good performance because Oscar Isaac wasn't that big at all back then. And uh, Ron Perlman, <laughs> freaking Ron Perlman. <laughs> that's like the biggest meme of the movie. Why is, why is Hellboy in Drive? Like, that's that's strange like why is was hellboy in drive like what but like uh, that's a great meme but yeah i mean i would i would say both films are great both film both films are are very enjoyable um if if you like intense action-packed movies that um also happen to have a good love story you'll like baby driver but if you like emotionally driven um violent and very emotional stories you'll like drive i guess that's the best way to put it is that um drive does have um some good action in it um but uh it's it's not nearly as action oriented as baby driver is um i'd say if anything drive is definitely more like just pure like violence uh not that baby driver is pretty violent too but but uh if anything uh i'd say baby driver is more action-packed i I guess is the best way to put it that kind of sounds stupid to say that because action-packed like does often mean violence i guess i guess the best way to say it is drive is more like um grotesque and just brutal in, in its violence compared to baby driver it's a little more it's a little more lighthearted and just fun adrenaline rush watching baby driver but 
yeah, either way, um, I enjoyed both. I would probably choose Baby Driver over Drive, honestly. But, I mean, it's a, it's a close choice. It, it is a close choice, though. So, yeah, uh, sorry to keep going on this ra rant, rant, but um, I really just want to give all my thoughts about both of these movies because they're both great in their own right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave your comments below if you've seen either of these, if you like one better than the other, um, if you have an opinion about one of them or both of them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.